What is going on guys? If you guys didn't watch my last video, I highly recommend it because it's super satisfying. But if you guys haven't been following me, I now live in Florida. Now, I'm gonna be here for a few months and I'm gonna try to do as much car content as possible. So this video, I, I really need to, you know, discover some spots to take pictures at because, you know, Instagram is probably like my main social media. I like taking pictures. So today we're gonna go wash my car and we're gonna explore a little bit to find some cool picture places to take. And maybe I got a little surprise edit thing if I feel like it. <laughs> it is a solid 93 right now, but I think like the real feel thing, if you guys actually follow those, is like over 100. At my house in Pennsylvania, it's currently like 65, and I'm not used to this heat at all. And I don't know if I'll ever get used to the heat, but I guess that's part, part of the Florida living, right? I definitely wasn't paying attention to where I was going, and I didn't find the car wash where I thought it was. And I'm kind of lost right now. Getting lost in Florida is not a fun thing so far. We found the car wash, gonna wash the car, and then I got a story time for you guys that I think you guys are gonna find kind of funny. I completely forgot my drying rags in Pennsylvania and I thought I had them with me, but apparently I do not. So we might have to deal with some water spots when I want to take my pictures, but you live, you learn, now I'm going to have to get some towels. So I'm not sure if any of you guys have ever driven across a long like highway or anything, but you know, bugs get attracted to them hardcore. And I'm going to try to show you, but like, I don't think you'll be able to see on camera. There's bug splatter all over my windshield and that's the hardest thing i found to get off of a car and it takes multiple car washes to get it off and then all over the front like fascia of my car is completely covered too but hopefully you can't see them in the pictures and the pictures come out good so we're gonna go find some cool spots and then once we find our spot, I'm gonna tell you guys the story, how Florida already tried to fuck me. <laughs> so I really enjoy taking pictures by bridges, under bridges, around bridges, because I think it makes for a cool picture. Being in the Gulf of Mexico area, where there's a lot of water, you would think you could get some really cool bridge pictures, but everywhere here is blocked off by fences or giant decks and docks. Now I don't have a problem taking a picture next to a dock. These ones, you have to get to a gate and you can only go under the bridge if you're a fisherman and then you have to park over in this lot over here which is ten dollars these places are against car pictures man i see another side of the bridge that i'm gonna try to go to but a lot of this places on the ocean side are all hotels and they kind of block off all their entrances too so i'm gonna try to figure something out real quick i was totally gonna do some edit of where i just was but this family kept following me and they didn't like that i was taking pictures of my car for some reason so i'm just gonna go find a different spot i was kind of weird that they were just like every time i moved my car to try to take another picture they were like they would get in their car move and try to like get in my way i don't know what that was about so i'm gonna go to a spot i'm not sure how often you guys actually go to like car washes to, to do it yourselfers usually every time i've been to one you know their wax really isn't good wax at all and it kind of just like makes your car smell nice and that's about it this is the first time i think that i went to a car wash and their wax was like legitimate wax like the water actually like beat it off and i really don't have many like watermarks because it all beat it off and that's I'm impressed by that. So, Florida, you got some good car washes. I'll give you guys that. It's so hot here, but I really like having my windows down because I'm like that. And uh, it doesn't make sense, but. edit for you guys I did really short cuz it's really hot out and I was not that long I'm really sweaty now and yeah so now is the story time of how Florida was trying to get me so me my girlfriend my girlfriend's mom were going to the grocery store you know because we just moved in got to get some groceries because you boys got to eat so you know we go get our groceries on our way back a cop swings around the road and pulls behind me. I don't really think anything of it because I'm not really doing anything wrong. The car laws here are very lenient, or so I've been told, but apparently not. So we're just driving down the road, lights go on, he 
flies up behind me, like riding my ass. And I, I get a little bit, you know, I get nervous because I don't know what I did. So I pull over and he comes out and goes, license, registration, proof of insurance, you know, the normal cop shit. So I give him all my stuff and he goes and he goes in his car and takes a good 20 minutes. 20 minutes later, he comes back out and says, do you know why I pulled you over? And I'm like, no, because I, I, I don't know. He's looking, he's like, roll your window up for me. So I roll up a little bit, he's like, your tint is extremely illegal. And I go, well, I, I didn't know in Florida, I didn't know that was an issue. In Pennsylvania, I've always been fine with it. He goes, well, this is Florida, it's different here. I said, okay, that's fine. Because the reason I pulled you over though is your license plate has tint on it. Remove it right now. So I take it off and put it in my car. And then, you know, I go to give him a handshake and he says, yeah, we don't do that around here. And he gives me a fist bump. He gave me a warning, so I was, that was nice of him. But now I know not to um, cover my license plate here. I drove 20 some hours of driving to get here. And I didn't have one issue until I got here. I got told by a lot of people, it's mainly because I'm new and he sees that I have a Pennsylvania tag in Florida and that's not normal. So that's why he pulled me over. Hopefully we don't have any more issues. I've never gotten pulled over in this car before. But that was the first time I've ever like gotten pulled over really. I've gotten pulled over two times before that, and my, once in my Dart and once in my Hyundai. And that's all I've been pulled over for. So I'm, I'm really happy that he didn't give me a ticket. So the cops seem pretty cool here. I've seen a lot of modified cars here, which is super cool. Planning some car content for you guys, because I don't want to bore you with regular everyday vlogs. So I have some content. I got some content. So I'm going to go take some more pictures. I'll be right back. I want you guys to do me a favor. While I'm in Florida, I told you guys I can't get any really big parts. I have some things that I want to do, but we're going to see how work goes and if I'll be able to get the parts or not so a few things we got to work out but i want you guys to let me know what kind of content you guys want to see while i'm out here i'm out here for about two and a half months i have a few things installs that i do want to do that while i'm out here that i think i should be able to do here i did bring my tools so we should be able to do it they're small things but they're relatively effective things so i want you guys to know like let me know what you guys want do you guys want an apartment tour do you guys want me to go to the beach for you guys i mean what do you guys want me to do i'll I'll try to cater to what you guys want to see while I'm out here. I am gonna leave you guys off here today. So I want you guys to comment, like, subscribe, and do all the fun shit. Subscribing is huge. I really wanna hit that goal. Don't think we're gonna hit it this month though, which is really unfortunate. But if you guys could help me out, that'd be great. So I'm gonna keep you guys here. I don't know what that just meant. So comment, like, subscribe, do all the fun shit, guys. Keep doing you. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.